Hey everyone, this is Untold Force, and today I'm going to cover something that a lot of people ask about, and that is virtual controllers and access on VKB devices. So uh, Windows has a limitation of eight axes available, and this is a well-known limitation. This is within Windows itself, and VKB has a way to get around this, but it's a little confusing. So I'm going to do my best to explain it. However, there is a Discord, and there's a... Uh, long user manual that you can consult to be able to get more information about this topic. But before I do anything, I just have my Gladiator Evo with the uh, SCG uh, grip attached. And this is a very common configuration. Um, and by default, this has six axes available. So if I go to test, I already have it set up doing some other stuff. But if I go to test, we can see that we have the X and Y axes are the main axes on the uh, joystick. We can twist for the rotation Z or rot Z down there. And we also have the mini stick. Mini stick is rot Y and rot X. Um, and there's one more axis and that is the mini throttle on the base. And that is axis Z by default. So since I've made some changes to my setup, before I do anything, I always like to save my uh, configuration. So I'm just going to name this something. Um, and I highly recommend that you save your configuration as well, because if you change something and it doesn't work, you can always go back and load that configuration and then set it to your controller. So I saved it and I'm going to default the stick just so I start out with the same configuration that many other people will have. Now, after defaulting the stick, it should ask me for auto configuration. So it says need to configure controller, do it now. Yes. And then the last thing would be calibration. And I'll also do that. So I'll say yes. I'll go to test and access. Make sure that I'm getting all the data. So I'm going to go to the limits on each axis several times, nice and slowly. I always encourage people to do this um, whenever you default your stick, give it a good calibration, make sure that uh, you're getting the optimal response out of your controller. Um, for the Gladiator, make sure to, uh, with the SEG, make sure to press in on the uh, mini stick if you have the premium version and calibrate the rotation X and ro uh, rotation Y, just as I did. And also don't forget the little mini throttle on the base. That's very important. So after I've done all of this, I'm gonna go to tools and calibration. Now also your uh, what you see on your screen may be different because you might have a different version of the VKB device config. Um, just make sure that the VKB device config and your firmware versions line up. If you have a really old version, maybe it's time to upgrade. But if you have anything since 2.16, that's probably fine. Uh, some people may be on 2.12. If it's working for you, that's great. We don't, incur we don't want people to update their firmware unnecessarily, but um, just be aware that there may be some differences. So this is a brand new freshly defaulted stick. And you might see you've got your eight axes visible. Now remember, we have these axes are visible, but there are only six of them that are bound. So you could bind these slider one and slider two to the throttle quadrant, a THQ if you're using one, but the THQ from VKB has three axes. So if you add the six axes from the Gladiator plus the three from the THQ, you're gonna overload that eight axis limit. And that's where we have to get into virtual controllers. So what is a virtual controller? Well, it takes this original controller. Now I'm gonna to go to the global tab at the bottom and I'm gonna to, uh, to common here. And this is the button, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the button we're uh, concerned about, VC, virtual HID controllers. And what that does is it'll create an extra copy of, a control, of your controller in Windows. And Windows will see two controllers while you only or two virtual controllers while you only have one actual physical controller. So to enable this, you have the option no, one, two, three. If you have no, 
That means that you have one controller is going to be visible to Windows. If you have VC set to one, it's going to be your original controller plus one virtual controller. If you set this to two, that's going to be your original controller plus two virtual controllers and so on. So a lot of people select two because they want, they think I need two controllers. You probably don't need that. You probably only need one, but we'll select one right now. After making changes in the global and common tab, I always recommend going up to the action and pressing set. This is going to update or it's going to uh, set the device, send that uh, configuration to your controller. And now we notice at the top, it says VKB Sim Gladiator Evo right XT2 version for it has the firmware, but this is the important part right here. It says HID composite device. And then it says two. And if I mouse over it, it says HID compliant game controller for one and HID compliant game controller. That means that you have two devices that are going to be available to Windows at this point. So this is where we get into the nitty gritty. We're going to go to profile. We're going to go and see the axes tab. So there's a lot of things going on here and I don't have time to explain everything, but um, we have two things. First is the physical axes. These are the physical axes that are uh, available to your system or to your joystick. And this is how they're being interpreted by the joystick, bunch of other things that are going on here. Um, and then what happens is these physical axis numbers are going to be referenced by the logical axes. And the logical axes are the axes that are going to be then sent to your operating system, or this is in essence what Windows sees. So in this case, remember how we went on the test page, we saw eight different axes and we can scroll down and see there is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are, there are extra axes available, right? But only the first eight are gonna be visible on the first virtual controller. However, we can go and change things around for the, uh, for the, other, uh, for the other stuff. So you might be thinking, this is really confusing and it is, but I'm just gonna do a really easy example. So if you remember on the base of the Gladiator, there's a little mini throttle, a little paddle. So I'm gonna click test. And now under axes, I see that there's an, a drop down box, which there didn't used to be. It now has VKB Sim Gladiator NXT. Uh, and then it says AX8 buttons, 128 POV one. And then there's another one that says AX0 buttons 128 POV4. These are, this is our first controller and this is our second controller, which is the virtual controller. So I'm gonna to go to the first controller and I'm gonna go and play around with the mini paddle or the mini throttle on the base. So we can see that that is currently axis Z. And what we're gonna do, or what I hope to do, is change this mini throttle from our first controller and put it onto our second virtual or, or our second controller, which is our virtual controller. So I want it to appear here. Now there's no axis available. That's okay. Let's try and think through what the, what's going on. So first off, we want to move this. We want to make this not visible on our first controller and we're going to move it to our second controller. Now this may not be exactly what you want to do, but I think the lessons are going to be very similar um, and what we're, what we're going to try to figure out. So <clears throat> what we see here, again, what was that axis? That was axis Z, right? So we see that axis Z uh, is going to be here. That, ac that is axis ID four. All right, <clears throat> now that's the physical axis four, which is down here. We can see that all the numbers here, right? So let's just do a quick test. If we disable physical axis four, is that gonna, and then, so that's the enable checkbox, and then this makes it visible or invisible in the, uh, to the system. So if I disable both of these checkboxes, What's gonna happen? Let's find out. So I'm gonna click set. And what I'm hoping 
is that on the test page, we will no longer see our mini throttle up here. But let's find out. So I'm going to go and see. I'm moving the mini throttle around. Great. It's no longer here. That means that it's no longer visible. Ah, there we go. We only have seven axis, axes visible on our uh, first controller. We still don't have anything visible on our second controller yet, but we can change that. So now that we understand that, let's go to, let's go scroll down a little bit. So this is where our second controller, uh, or our second virtual controller, or sorry, our first virtual controller, but our second overall controller comes in. And do pardon, I, I apologize for all of the, uh, the um, naming conventions because there's a lot of things going on here. Um, so what I would like to do is I'm going to go and change, uh, I think we could probably make it anything on this, on the virtual controller, but just for fun, let's try making it Z. Okay. So on our virtual controller, we can see that hid usage or what will be visible in windows will be Z, the Z axis. And in this case, <clears throat> the axis ID is what we want to set to the correct axis here. So I believe the axis ID is going to be, let me just double check. I think that was four, but I'm going to scroll back up here. And yes, the axis ID is four. So I'm going to scroll back down. Let's take, let's change this to four, and then I'm going to enable it and make it visible. Let's see if that hap if that works. All right, so we're gonna to go to the test page. We'll go to axes. And of course, we only have seven visible, uh, or seven axes visible to our first controller. And now we have one axis visible on our second controller. Let's try the mini throttle and see if what we did works. Aha, there we go, great. So we moved the mini throttle axis from our first controller to our second controller, which is our virtual controller. Now, if you want to do this, you could go and use this to, for example, move or reorder some of the axes that may be con uh, configured on your main controller onto a virtual controller, or you could use it to extend it. Um, I, can, uh, I know that this is a pretty complex topic, so if you have additional questions, I'm gonna put the Discord link in the video uh, information below. Um, please feel free to click that and ask your questions about it. But the principle is here. So you can go and configure the logical axes to reflect what you want to do here. Now, there may be a few issues with what you did. Um, for example, uh, your, <laughs> you may need to cho uh, change your dead zone settings uh, if you are copying things down here because Dead zone settings are uh, in the logical axis sec uh, section, um, and also anti-dead zone, etc. But this is a, a starting point that you can use to try and figure out this awesome and very powerful technology. So let me know what you think. If you have any questions, feel free to d visit Discord. Or you can post them in the comments below, but I think the Discord's probably a better choice. So I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Thanks again for watching.